Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can go and find monologues for yourselves. So this is a big question that I've been getting and I wanted to help you guys out with this because it's actually not that hard for us to do. I'm gonna show you the platforms that I would use to go and try and find these monologues. I'm also not just gonna show you which platforms it is. I'm gonna walk you through it so it's an easy step-by-step -step process. You guys can mirror me if you want. It's just a little bit easier if you guys see someone else do it so you know for yourselves how you guys can go and do specific search criteria and how you guys can find some better examples for yourself. So we're gonna get into that here. Before I do do that though, please give this video a thumbs up because hey, it does help the channel. And if you guys do give it a thumbs up, I will give you all a virtual hug. Right now, I'm gonna do it. If you give a thumbs up, you get this hug. Now, I will say that hug is only for the people who gave this video a thumbs up. So if you gave the video a thumbs up, you got my personal hug straight to you. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video here. All right, so as you guys can see right now, we're gonna be using the platform Backstage. Backstage is a super, super popular platform. Um, it's used by a lot of actors. You can also use it for searching for some monologues for yourselves. Um, as you guys can see, this page is gonna be right here. Links to all of these sites are gonna be just straight down in the description down below. So it'll be super easy for you guys to access. Um, let's talk about this real quick here. So here we can see, they call it the monologuer. Uh, we have 739 monologues in this search queue. So it's saying, hey, we haven't put in any filters at all. There are 739 monologues available for you right now. Of course, as we go and put in some of our filters, that's gonna get a little bit smaller. I will say that this site does not have every single monologue in the world because if we were to put every single monologue into the world on this site, there would be so much more than 739. But Backstage is a very trusted site that you can use. Um, it's very helpful for you, especially if you're in a bind or you're just trying to find monologues to work on, whether it be for class or in your own personal situations. Or maybe you just want an easy process just to be able to go and find monologues. Backstage is gonna be that platform for you. So as you guys can see here, again, 739 monologues in the search queue. Um, you guys can do quick little shortcuts if you want. So if you look where it says right here, it says popular monologues. We can click on that, but usually you would just use one of these shortcuts here. So you could do specifically classical monologues, contemporary monologues, comedy, dramatic monologues, female monologues, male monologues, Shakespearean monologues, or teen monologues. Um, as an example here, I'll show you how it looks real quick. Let's say we want a contemporary monologue for ourselves. I would go and click this here, and then boom, we have our contemporary monologues. Uh, monologues, you're gonna want them for different reasons. Let's say, for example, you're going um, to wanna go to a drama school, you're gonna have to have monologues for yourself. If you're gonna be auditioning for a theater, you're gonna have to have monologues. Sometimes they're gonna want you to have a contemporary monologue and a contrasting classical monologue. So that's why it can be really helpful for you, especially um, using this platform here. You can go straight to contemporary or you could go to classical monologues here. And then now we have classical monologues available to ourselves. It also will show you how many came up in the search queue. But this is what I would recommend for you guys. And this is what I would actually do for myself. Um, because if I just use the shortcut version, it's very broad. There's a lot of different monologues that are gonna be there and there may be a lot that I don't want. So if I do, for example, a classical monologue, well, there's gonna be a lot of female monologues that I'm not gonna wanna use. I'm gonna wanna use a male monologue for myself. On top of that, there's gonna be age range of characters. I don't want a character that's super old. I don't want a character that's super young. I want a character that's gonna actually fit my age range. So what I would do is I would go over here where it says filter results. So if we go here, we're gonna definitely wanna do more filters for ourselves. Uh, for the author and for the plays, I'm just gonna leave this blank uh, because I'm suspecting for you guys, you guys don't actually know what you want. You don't know what play you want. Uh, you don't know what author you wanna look into. Otherwise, if you did, you could just do a simple Google search and find that for yourself. Again, you're gonna be limited on certain options just simply because there's only 739 monologues available. Um, to yourself here. So to get the most out of this platform, what you would actually wanna do is focus more on this area here. So I'll show you guys as an example. So if this was me, right? I'm putting myself in your guys' shoes. I'm gonna first go on to genre here. I'm gonna click on genre and I need to decide for myself, do I want a comedy monologue or do I want a dramatic monologue? If I just leave it blank, it's gonna give me both. Maybe you're not sure, but let's say you are a little bit on the right path of knowing what you're looking for. Uh, for me, I'd say I want a dramatic monologue, so I'm gonna click drama here. 
Again, if I want a comedy, I would just switch that over to comedy. Uh, then I'm gonna go to categories, okay? I can pick a classical monologue or I can pick a contemporary monologue, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm just wanting to go and practice and work on my acting, most likely I'm gonna pick a contemporary monologue unless, hey, I wanna go and do some Shakespeare work, then yeah, maybe I will click on classical. But if I'm just practicing, I'm at home, I'm gonna wanna do a contemporary monologue. If I'm gonna be auditioning for either a play or for a drama school, well, it depends. If I already have my classical monologue picked, then I'm just gonna search for a contemporary. If I already have my contemporary picked, then I might do classical. In this situation, let's say I want contemporary. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, Gender is pretty simple. I do male there. Age range, again, you can pick your own age range depending on whatever your age range is that you can play. It doesn't mean your exact age, it just means what you can play. So if you're somewhere where you look like you can play younger and you can play older, let's say people say you can usually play 18 to 25 years old, that's what you would do, you do 18 to 25. Um, just as a form of an example here, we'll make it even broader and we'll just do all the way zero uh, to 30. Okay, just as an example here. Themes, we don't really have to do themes. Um, the reason that I would stay away from themes is simply because I'm not sure what I want yet exactly. If I limit myself to only breakup monologues, it will give me that listing of breakup monologues, but I may not like any of those monologues. And if I don't like them, I don't get to see any of the other options that are available. So I just keep it blank. I don't need it right now. Uh, keywords, again, I don't need it. I kind of want to be surprised on what it's going to give me. This here is enough, saying I want a dramatic monologue, the category is contemporary for the gender of a male, the age range. So if I do a search here, as you guys can see, listings come up. You'll see the number up here changes now to 74. 74 monologues became available within this search criteria. Again, depending on what we change, it'll change the outcome of the numbers that are given to us. So if we change it to female, that will change, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, but here's what I do next, okay? So now I'm here, great, I did this search criteria. I try to find which monologue is gonna suit me best. So what I do is I start reading this little bio section right here. And I start reading about it a little bit, and this is the actual monologue itself. It doesn't show the whole thing. Um, if I click more, it will. I can pretty much tell when I'm reading this section whether or not I like the monologue or if I don't like the monologue from my own personal self. So let's just imagine I'm going through this, I read this, I'm like, eh, I'm not so crazy about it. I skip it. This one, I go through it, I'm not so crazy about it. Let's say I go down to the next one and I find this one, the sun, I'll click on this, and it shows here details of the, uh, of the play. It'll show the scene synopsis, what's going on there, the play synopsis, important stuff for you guys to read because maybe you guys like uh, the monologue that's available but you actually don't like what the play is about uh, or what the scene's about. Well, then it's a quick one to just, you know, throw it off to the side. The only thing is, the problem with this monologue is that it seems pretty darn short. Now, for me, I do try to keep my monologues within one to one and a half minutes long. That's my usual range. Um, if I'm, because usually I'm going to be doing two monologues. I'm auditioning for a drama school or if I'm auditioning for a play. I don't try to make my monologue super long because it actually gets really tiring for the people watching you. And if you can make magic happen within a minute and 30 seconds, if you do anything longer than that, you run the risk of losing the magic that happens within that monologue. So I usually keep my pieces within one to one and a half minutes long. Uh, trust me, people who do three minute monologues, it's not helping you guys. So. This one here though, just at a quick glance, I can pretty much tell it's not gonna be a minute long. So I would actually skip this monologue um, and I would keep going on. So now let's say I skipped that one, but I like this next one, Mercy. I click on this again, we have more scene synopsis, more play synopsis. I would look at this and this one, I would say, hey, it's a pretty darn good length, I would choose it. Let's imagine though, really quickly here, it's twice as long, right? It's a really long monologue you're allowed to go and make cuts for yourself. And that's what I would do. So if I love this monologue so much, but I had to go and make cuts for myself to make it still make sense and work for me, but to get it down from instead being two and a half minutes long down to a minute and a half long, I would definitely go and make those cuts. These are again, um, some other extra points I'm trying to throw at you guys for these monologues. We can go more in depth on how to break down monologues if you guys want. I've done a lot of different monologue videos. Uh, on this channel, but sometimes you guys like more, so we can always do that. Uh, but this is the gist of how this works. Um, I'll just show you real quick. If we switch this from male to female, uh, and we search it up here, it changes. We have 92 
monologues available for us, okay? So it brings us all of this information here that we have for ourselves. I'm gonna show you guys the next platform here real quick. This one is called Daily Actor. Now the Daily Actor one is great because let's say you guys are really wanting to get monologues from movies, movies um, that you have loved and that you've enjoyed and those are the monologues that you wanna get. Well, this platform is great for you on that. It does have a downside though, which we'll talk about really quick. Uh, the downside is, is that there's not a lot of searching specifically that you can do on this platform. There is some searching, there is a little bit of a workaround, and I'll show you guys that, but in terms of filtering, there's not a specific filtered uh, search, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's say for this one, uh, we wanna go and find female monologues from movies. Again, there's so many things on here. We could do funny monologues, dramatic, male monologues, but we did a lot of the male one in the, uh, on backstage, so we do the female one here. So as you guys can see, uh, it brings up a list of monologues for females from the movie. So it shows you in here the movie, the title of the movie, in parentheses, the name of the character, um, and then a line within the text, within that monologue. Um, let's see. Then this one here is just a little bit of a dialogue, a monologue for young women. Um, it'll show you here a comedic monologue. So it kind of breaks down a one minute monologue comedic. So if you guys need just quick little things of knowing what the monologues are gonna entail for themselves, you can look at the, the faded letters here. Um, okay, so let's say we're going through and you're looking through again. Remember how I said the search criteria is a little tricky? We can't just put in our parameters and put in, hey, I want something from, uh, let's say, The Breakfast Club, okay? There is something else that you guys can do that I will show you guys in a second, but otherwise, if you just go straight through this platform, you have to do a lot of searching for yourself. Now, it's not so bad because all you have to do is you just have to take the time and look through and it gives you a lot of options, which is great, but it will take some time for yourself. Now, I will say that if you guys go up to here and you click here and you know what movie you want to monologue from and you're hoping that it's on this site, you can look it up here. So let's say we want, well, let's just do The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. And as you guys can see, the monologues, they already come up right here. Uh, if we do search, it says we have 11 different results. Again, let's read the titles, Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club, uh, Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club. Again, there's no filters here though, so if you're wanting specifically the female monologue, well, it's right here, here's one, um, but it looks like these are all male monologues that come up next. So that's the one bummer, there's not a lot of filtering that you guys can do. You just actually have to spend the time and look through it. So I hope this helps you guys. I didn't wanna just give you the platforms of what they were. I also wanted to just walk you guys through it a little bit so you could see how to actually use it. Um, because sometimes it can be complicated or sometimes there is a little bit of a learning curve. Luckily, it's not that hard with these platforms, but I did wanna walk you through just in case you had any questions or you just wanted to see how I would go and use the platform myself. You may use it a little bit differently than me and that's okay but this is how I would use it. This is how I would go and search for monologues for myself if I needed them. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you guys. Remember, if you gave this video a thumbs up, I have gone and given you a virtual hug personally from me. Also, if you guys are interested in our newly enhanced 10 hour acting masterclass 2.0, that's gonna be down in the description down below and also in the comment section if you're interested in that, as well as our 10 acting resume templates. Alrighty? Hey, see you guys next time. Bye guys.